Hey guys, it's your boy Chris here with another episode of Food FAQs. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen as usual. Above, click on subscribe. All the latest videos are going to be sent directly to you as soon as they go live. Below is where you're going to leave me your questions, your comments, your concerns. Maybe you want me to touch on a subject. Leave it in the comment section below. And do remember to give the video a thumbs up, like it, hey, it allows it to go viral. Today we're going to talk a little bit about salted fish or salt fish as it's commonly known in the Caribbean and here I have some some different um, varieties here as far as the end product but um, they're all courtesy of Chelsea out in Toronto I've got a whole bunch of salt fish here to show, show you guys the different ways it comes and how to pretty much prepare it for adding to your favorite dish it adds wicked flavor so guys if you're looking for boss I'm talking the wicked good salt fish especially cod check out the Chelsea brand in your local grocery store so here we go salted fish how to prepare it well you gotta prep it before you use it for cooking so we'll take a look at the three different formats of salted cod I have here this one here is as raw as it's gonna get when I say raw I don't mean actual raw but I mean more work involved and this one here it's still in the package I'm not gonna open it because I do hope you guys can see it this one has the skin still on the fish because it's a filly that's been cured dried and salted but it still has a skin on there and so you'll have to remove the skin and the bones are still in here so you have to be very careful when handling this one because you gotta remove the bones and you gotta remove the skin the very first thing you would want to do is to boil this to get most of the salt out so you would put it in a big pan of water boil it drain it boil it again drain it and then soak it in some cold water to um, take most of the salt out and to make it easier to strip the meat off as well as the skin the other option I have here and by the way guys this here would probably of the three that I'm going to show you here is probably going to be the cheapest version to buy um, simply because it still has the skin and the bones and everything in there the second option here is the bone um, cod bit so it's pretty much pieces and I'm going to open this up in a second to show you guys but there's pieces of salted cod that's already been deboned so there's no bone in this whatsoever no skin so it's, a, it's probably one of the the quickest one to get going to work to work with as far as having less work to do and this here is probably the Rolls Royce of salted cod guys this is pure goodness here it's um the bone has been taken out the skin is gone it's just pure beautiful salted fish here um doesn't get much better than this I tell you this one is gonna be a bit more pricey but well worth the money now here's the thing all three versions here when you're using them you've got to soak them in, in well boil them in hot water to take out some of the salt as else whatever you're adding it to will become very salty the other thing you gotta do is um, squeeze that water out to make sure it's nice and dry before you actually start using it with the salted cod bits I'm just gonna cut it open there we go and show you guys some of it so it's beautiful pieces of salted fish no bone no skin but what we've got to do and I've got a pot boil I'm gonna show you how we're gonna prepare this I'm gonna put this into some boiling water you can soak it in cold water overnight first to, to help the um, to draw out some of that salt but in this case I'm pressed for time I'm just gonna boil this and um, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that so I have a pan here with boiling boiling water just plain old water in there and I'm just gonna put in the pieces of salted fish um, how much I'm gonna use and I'm gonna bring that back up to a boil and let that simmer for about 20 minutes now here's the thing I after one set of boiling I drain the water out then I rinse it in cold water and I'm good to go but I know some people they like removing most I mean the majority of the salt from it so they will repeat that step personally the one boil is good enough for me but again if you want it to be less salty you'll have to repeat this step to really get most of that salt out of it I'm gonna bring this up back up to a boil and let it boil for about 20 minutes 
as the salted fish simmers away here to remove all that salt, thought I'd share a quick tidbit with you guys. I am a huge fan of salted cod. There are, there are a variety of different types of fish that they salt and have us thinking it's all the same. We in the Caribbean, we generalize it as salt fish, but trust me, when you get that pollock, which is maybe about a quarter, well, maybe about 25% cheaper than the salted cod, and you think, oh, I'm cooking good salt fish here. Trust me, you're not. Salted cod, the texture is totally different than any of the other salted fish, as well as the overall flavor when it's cooked. Trust me on this, I've played around with enough salt fish. I, did I just say that? I've played around with enough salt fish to know this. Do spend the extra couple bucks, get the salted cut, and remember, check out our friends Chelsea, Wicked Brand, give it a try. The salted fish has been boiling, well, simmering away for 20 minutes. So all I'm going to do now is drain it. And there we go, it's nice and juicy now, it's been reconstituted with that. That water so it's not as dry anymore and what I'm going to do is run some cold water in there and let it sit I'm going to let that sit in there well once the bubbles go you can see it let that cool down it's going to take some more of that salt out let it sit and then we're going to shred it for adding to dishes the fish is nice and cool now so it's easy to handle so all I'm going to do is grab a piece and depending on the recipe I'm shredding it here because I really want this I'm cooking some fried okra with this and all you're doing is pretty much flaking it see you gotta be careful because sometimes there are little bones I'm not sure if you can see that but there's still a little bone in there discard that because we really don't want that in the dish it can choke someone so I'm just gonna go ahead and shred the rest of it and that's pretty much how you prep salted fish for uh, for adding to dishes for cooking on its own as well. One more thing, guys. I remember, and this is going old school now. My dad used to get the entire salted fish. I'm talking about a massive piece of fish, the entire fillet of fish, um, salted, dried to the bone. And I remember what he would do first before cleaning it, because it still had the skin and everything on it, was to roast it over an open flame. Now, that is old school, but trust me, the other thing you don't want... Um, other than the work involved in working with one of those is the smell. Ooh, I remember that smell as a kid boy. Chris Yek, Food FAQs, thanks for joining me in the kitchen. We've, I've told you guys a bit about salted fish. Remember to check out the Chelsea brand and do spend the extra money and get the salted cod. You'll thank me for it. Guys, I I, I left kind of early here without telling you guys something. When using salted fish, salted cod like this in a recipe, remember there still be, there will still be a bit of salt left back in here. So adjust your salt according to the ingredient list accordingly. So start off with the salt fish and taste it at the end and then add any salt as per the recipe instructions because trust me, even though I boil this, there will still be some salt in there. And the other thing you want to do, and I forgot to mention to you, once you've drained it, squeeze it. Give it a good squeeze to get most of that moisture out of it. It'll add to the overall flavor of this because you really don't want to be cooking water in there. And, and, and you know what? It just won't be right. Squeeze it as well. 